Hello, hello, welcome to the channel. My name's Nobby. Thank you for tuning in. Episode 9 of our Path of Exile Beginners playthrough. We will eventually be playing as a Toxic Rain Pathfinder Ranger. Let me switch channels. I did start recording and forgot to change the scene so you couldn't see what I were doing. <laughs> Where did we get up to? So we've got a rare bow, we've got a rare helm, a rare chest, rare gloves. A rare amulet, we've got unique boots, we've got a rare belt, we've still got magic and normal rings, we've still only got a magic quiver. I'm saving this chance to bleed just in case we get a link and then we can attach it to shrapnel ballista again. I'm also saving this cold resist ring at plus 22% purely for the next boss. Our resistances, if you go to your character tab and into defences, you can see them here. So we've got 9% cold, 17, sorry, 9% fire, 17% cold and 23 lightning. Uh, these cap out at 75%, although you can't over level them. You just don't get the benefit above 75%. And at the ends of Act 5 and Act 10, you do take a 30% hit on them. Uh, so it's always worth being over level. So ideally, you're looking to get these to 105 so when you take the 30% hit, you're back down to 75. Uh, but that will come with gear. When we're getting gear, especially the rings and the amulet and the quiver, you're always looking for resistances. Uh, we are following the path of building and this guide for this Toxic Rain Ranger. We're sort of up here, heading towards Evasion and Life. We've already done down here, Aspects of the Eagle, all the way down here to Finesse. So we're working our way up this bit. And the video guide that we're following, this YouTube guide here, we're working towards this Toxic Rain with Pierce, Void Manipulation we've already got, Mirage Archer. So we're looking for Four Link. We're not going to get a Four Link yet. That'll probably be Act 3, maybe, before we see a Four Link. Well, that's what we're working towards. We can be a bit loosey-goosey with the utility stuff in our gloves and boot and helm. We can be a bit loose with them. We can play around with them. Hence why we've got a Siege Ballista in at the minute. Although it's not linked with anything yet. Because we sort of scuffed the links when we swapped out the chest piece. I can confirm as well. I did go to the cavern after the ship graveyard. After the last episode, before the ship graveyard reset. I jumped back in. Went into the cavern and there is a waypoint in there. I can confirm that's at, very, at the start of it. And also, because of going in there, I have now popped a quest to talk to Nessa. So let's go and do that. Mervale Reward. This is the quest that popped. We can now get Toxic Rain. So a few other options here. Siege Ballista is here. We've already got. Uh, have we got? No, we've got Shrapnel Ballista, haven't we? Yes. So you can get Siege Ballista here. Uh, we can get Elemental Hit, Poisonous Concoction, Reeve, Lightning Arrow, Rain of Arrows, Lightning Strike, but the one we are getting is, of course, Toxic Rain. Now, I am going to put that in our setup. However, I am just going to keep hold of... Can I put it anywhere? Um, I can put it there. Let's do that. Let's just swap out that peer support for now that's not doing anything. I am just going to keep hold of the Caustic Arrow. Reason being... We put that on the middle mouse button, put that on Q. Um, I just want to see how this Toxic Rain works. I've never used it before. I've used Caustic Arrow before, and I like the way how it hits, and there's an instant pool on the floor that does the damage over time. The Toxic Rain, I'm not sure if it's one of them, that you're going to have to fire up in the air, and there's a bit of a delay before it hits the ground. So I do want to check that out, and we will do that in this episode. We are going to speed up a little bit. We've gone through, as I said in the last episode, we've gone through most of the basics, I think. Uh, you should have a decent handle now on the game and how to play the game and the basics of gems, support links, your flasks, all that sort of thing. We are now running around looking for yellows. It does look like there is a bit of a delay on this toxic rain. So we'll see how we go. I did have a look at another build guide. When I'd sort of plumbed for this Toxic Rain build, I had a look at a couple of guides. And another one was saying don't use Toxic Rain until about level 35, 36. So it may be 
Hence why I'm keeping the Caustic Arrow. We may switch back to Caustic Arrow for now. Until we've got more links in the setup to be able to really utilise the Toxic Rain. But we'll see how it goes. We might be okay. Uh, right, we have just got a skill point, And we are working around here for the Evasion and Life. Chain Belt. No, thank you. Magic Helm. No, thank you. Uh, we might be okay. There's not too much of a delay. Lots of things just leveled up there, so let's get them all leveled up. Again, if you're on the console, your gems will level up automatically. There is a way you can still stop them from leveling. On the PC, you do need to level them manually, and if you want to stop them, you right-click on the plus arrow. You can see the clarity here. We can't level that up. It will stay there greyed out purely because we've not got the intelligence for it. We need 27 to hit the next level. And we have got 24. Hence why, in some of your gear, you will be looking for, ideally, plus strength or plus intelligence. We don't need plus dex. We're going to get plenty of that throughout the playthrough. Through the, uh, the passive skill tree. Okay, cave music, always best music. We'll work our way through here. Aggro the world. Yeah, my only concern is things that come and hit us will hit us hard while we're waiting for the delay. But we have also got our... In fact, let me put that on the W. I'll put that back to Q because I've sort of got used to that now. Uh, we have got our... Ballistas that we can put down as well. Okay, a strong box. See what this drops. If anything, uh, a greater life flask will take that. And we're just working our way through now to get towards Mervale, who is. The Act 1 boss. I'm also half expecting a bit of a mini boss in this zone. I think one of her daughters may turn up. Uh, a plague mask with two linked greens. Let's have a look. Uh, it has got intelligence, it's got max life, it's got fire resist. Uh, our other one has max life, max mana. Uh, rarity we don't need and lightning resist um, I think for the link and the extra intelligence slightly more life we are losing a bit of mana but that might go in with Pierce and the shrapnel ballista there we go let's see how that does so we are going to follow the guide for the main the main skill Fairly strictly. But we can certainly loosen up on the utilities and things as well. Alright. Where are we heading? Down this way, I think. Yeah, we may not have insta-cast on the Toxic Rain, but we've definitely got insta-cast on the Totems, so... They will help. Because they're not doing a bad job of tanking. Okay, we can now level up the Clarity. Now, this is worth mentioning as well. Uh, we can level up the Clarity, which is fine. We've just put Int on the Helmet there. Uh, but if you come to swap gear, and then you go and sell the gear you've taken out, you then suddenly realise... You can't equip a gem because you've then not got enough int or strength because you've leveled up the gem. Uh, a, you can de-level the gem with Orb of Regrets and the gem itself. Alternatively, what I'd always do before you sell something, because there's no buyback in this system, uh, I've done it lots of times. Before you sell something, always just double check that with your newly equipped items, you can still use all your abilities and you're not getting an error message. I've done it a few times. It's an easy one to uh, forget. You sell your stuff, 
and then you suddenly realise you've not got enough int or strength or whatever some of your off stats will be to actually use some of your skills. So just be aware of that one, alright. You dropped a rare bow. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, two link green. 16 to 34 fizz. Elemental damage for us doesn't really matter because our toxic rain is going to defunct that. Plus one of socketed bow gems is good. And the fire resist is all right but we are losing a link we are losing a green link and we haven't got any orbs to re-roll that we can re-roll the color we've got plenty of chromatics now but we haven't got any fusings to try and get it to three link so unfortunately i think that one's going to be um null and void because two of the suffixes prefixes there the cold damage and lightning damage really don't help us is Toxic Rain the same? Does that defunct? Uh, fires four arrows. Physical damage converted to chaos. Projectile damage applied to the skills. Damage over time. Each spore pod applies 5% less movement speed. Uh, it doesn't specifically say it defuncts any elemental damage. But we're going to go on the basis. We want as much fizz as we can. Because it's converting the fizz to chaos, which is what we want. So we really do want to be stacking fizz damage. I will level that up. I was holding off, but we will level that up. Okay, peer support level 4. Okay, Toxic Rain might be okay. We just need to get used to the delay. I've always played melee, so I've always been, you know, instant hit. <laughs> this is just a little bit different to get used to with the slight delay, but we will get used to it. And I'm just trying to get through these zones, and hopefully... Oh, I quite like the, uh, the Tangled ensnarement, ensnarement thing that they do. Uh, I'd like to get to the end of this, uh, if we can, this episode. So I'm not full clearing, but we'll work our way through relatively quickly. Again, we'll pause for thought. Oh, I can of drop over there, I did wonder. More boulders. Always check your boulders. Hmm, which way are you sending me? This way, probably. There's a gem. We're only really looking for... There are specific gems that are drop only. So we will be looking for them. But really, the other ones, we're just looking for superiors. There's no point collecting gems that we're definitely not going to use. Sword, slippers, scepter, gloves. We are getting to the point now where we're seeing quite a lot of yellows, which is nice. It means we don't need to pick up blues anymore get more currency back from the yellows and we can identify them and get even more currency back as well. Must be this way, I think. Excellent stuff. What have we got? Another Quicksilver Flask. Like I said, they are drop only, but we seem to be getting them dropped quite often. I think that's three or four we've got now, aside from the one that we're using. And there's another level. What's that? 17.
you know, you just need to pop that and then just walk back a little bit. So we're getting a couple of quivers here. Uh, I'm tempted to take one just in case we get an essence. And then we can roll a yellow. But we'll we'll wait for a drop. Uh, right, skill point. There you go. Evasion, max life. Lovely. Uh, nothing there, dead end. Let's work our way around here then. This is going to pop a little mini boss. Hence why the ballistas go down. Thank you very much. Uh, and you didn't drop a great deal at all. Here we are, Act 1 boss. Alright then, so we have a plus 35 to resistance as flask. Our cold resist is 17. But we are just going to swap out and possibly take the mana hit for now. I'll swap back once the fight's done. But we'll take the cold resist. And we'll work our way in here. A little tip for you on boss fights. If you stick a portal near your entrance... If your flasks ever run empty and you're struggling, you can always at least just port back to town and then come back. So we'll just try and let the ballistas tank a bit for us. Try and keep out of the way. Keep your three ballistas up as much as you can. You will notice in these bigger boss fights that you do get a phase where there's adds that spawn. Just give your flasks a chance to refill. There we go. Keep working on it. We're on the second phase of the boss now. Just keep out of these water funnels as much as we can. Keep popping our elemental flask when we remember. We did just jump into town accidentally, but that's okay. We're doing okay in this fight. He says, famous last words. <laughs> well, that did re reset the flasks for us. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. There we go. If you've got that far, guys, well done. You are through Act 1. We got yellow boots. We got a leather cap. We got an axe. We got a shield. Which we can't carry. That's fine. Okay. There is also some law item just before you exit. There's a waypoint here, super handy. We will just jump back to Act 1, sell what we've got so we can make room for more goodies. I thought you were full. And we will identify the yellows because we do get more for them. I don't think there's anything we need. Minion skill gems, no, we don't do minions, we're not using an axe. We've got really good leveling boots. We have got a magic quicksilver, uh, evasion rating, immune to freeze. We'll keep hold of the immune to freeze. So let's sell. You, 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 you. We'll sell you back now. We don't really need that ring. I'm going to put the other one back on. You can go in there. Um, I'll keep hold of that just for now. On the assumption that we might end up selling that one. I think we can probably sell all them, to be fair. No, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. We're really looking for superior flasks now. Okay. Level up the void manipulation. 
sharp out there. There's a reward somewhere. Where's the reward? You've got the reward. There you go, a passive skill point. Fantastic. And our guide says, I think we're out of the guide, aren't we? Um, and we've just hit Act 2, so we're probably slightly over level, but that's okay. Uh, right, we're moving towards Hunter's Gambit, which is damage over time. Exactly what we need. Makes sense to me. Okay, so we're going up here, up here, to there. Notice here as well, we've got a plus 30 strength and a plus 30 intelligence. Although they're not on the build guide or in the path of building, uh, if you do need them, the one point, even if it's only temporarily until you get better gear, you can always take them so you can continue to use your skill gems if that's the requirement. Right. Let's go and just clear the Southern Forest. We'll get to the Act 2 town. And then we are good. What are we on? 21 minutes. Perfect timing. So we'll just hug this left-hand side. Keep dropping some toxic rain down. Thank you very much. Take the scrolls, as always. Okay. Now, the, uh, the mana use on this Toxic Rain isn't that bad, to be fair. I've noticed. I'm not... Uh, not having to use that mana flask at all at the minute. Got a named boss here, so we'll just make sure we uh, <laughs> drop some ballistas. Here we go. Act 2 town. Plenty of quests to accept. So let's crack open these. You may notice I'm not really going through the lore at the minute. Uh, this is an introduction to one of the League mechanics of old, uh, the Beastery. Gives you the ability to sort of target, craft your flasks. So we'll certainly be looking at that. We've got to deal with the bandits. Um, our build guide does tell us what to do. And the meta at the minute seems to be... Where is it? Bandits, bandits, bandits. Here. The meta at the minute seems to be kill all three for two passive respect points. So that's what we'll be doing there. What's the chance here? Hunt down the Great White Beast. That's an optional. And Silk is open the blocked pass. Lovely. There we go. We are in Act 2 on Episode 9. Well, that's not bad going, to be fair. I mean, we started really slow. Don't get me wrong. We started really slow. Uh, but you need to as a new player because there's lots to learn. There's lots of information to inwardly digest. But by the time you get to the end of Act 1, you're sort of getting into the swing of it. You're used to the uh, the passive tree. Hopefully you're not too put off by that now. Uh, so thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. If you are enjoying, I would like you to sub to the channel, more importantly. But also like the videos. It also helps other new players find them. Pops up in their recommended list as well. So thank you very much for your time, folks. Have a great evening. I'll see you again soon. Take care.